بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو اپلائڈ ترمو ڈائنامکس بائی میکان کی ویڈ ڈاکٹر عبید حسین ان کرنٹ لیکچر وی آر سالونگ پرابلم ٹو فون ٹو فرام میکان کی سو پرابلم ٹو فون ٹو ایز اویسل آپ والیوم زیرو پوائنٹ زیرو تری کیوبک میٹر کنٹینٹس ڈرائی سیچوریٹڈ سٹیم ایٹ سیونٹین بار کلکولیٹ دی ماس آف سٹیم ان دی ویسل and the enthalpy of this mass so first i can write first i write given data so volume is it volume is 0.03 meter cube cubic meter it's mean that the there is this is total volume dry saturated steam dry saturated dry saturated steam mean that properties properties are on saturated vapor line saturated vapor line and calculate the mass of steam in the vessel and the enthalpy of this mass and pressure is steam at 17 bar pressure is 17 bar and calculate the mass of steam and the enthalpy of this mass it means that calculate the total enthalpy and one point important point is that this is dry saturated steam so first i draw pv diagram and saturation curve p on y axis and bar and we if this is specific volume this then this will be sp sp small v specific volume in meter cube per kg the saturation curve is like this this line is called saturated liquid line this line is called saturated liquid line this line is saturated vapor line when we start heating start heating water at this point the at this line saturated like when the water boils the water boils and after this the liquid is started to convert into vapor and in this line the the liquid is completely dry saturated so so here we define a term dryness friction so at this point dryness friction will be 0 and at this point dryness friction it will be 1 and in this region dryness friction will be from 0 to 1 it means 0 for 1 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, up to 1. So, and this region is called wet region, and this region is called superheated region. Superheated region. We use saturated steam table to solve problem in this region. Saturated steam table and use superheated steam table to solve problem in this region superheated steam table so there is a word in the problem dry saturated steam it means that the property is on this line so if pressure is 17 bar pressure and bar and volume in meter cube per kg and our total volume will be in meter so this is saturation curve so pressure is 17 bar let's suppose this one is 17 bar this is constant pressure line properties are dry saturated steam so property will be here and at this point volume will be vg enthalpy will be hg entropy will be entropy will be sg and internal energy will be ug and at this point enthalpy will be hf and 
internal energy will be u a and in this weight region we use formulas to find specific volume v is equal to x v g h is equal to h f plus x h g minus h f and u is equal to u f plus x u g minus u f so here dry saturated steam so v v is v will be equal to v g h will be equal to h g and u will be u equal to u g so we have to find m and total volume is given to us so we can find specific volume from saturated steam table so as the properties are on saturated vapor line saturated vapor line so we will use you will use saturated steam table saturated steam table so from saturated steam table from saturated steam table at pressure is equal to 17 bar v is equal to vg is equal to 0 0.167 meter cube cubic meter per kg so we know that specific volume is equal to total volume divided by mass rearrange this equation so mass will be equal to total volume divided by specific volume total volume is given to us as 0.03 cubic meter 0.03 cubic meter and specific volume is 0.1167 cubic meter per kg so specific mass will be equal to 0.03 divided by 0.1167 is equal to 0.2 257 kilogram this meter cube will be cancelled with meter cube now to find enthalpy first we have to find x so for enthalpy for enthalpy first we have to find x so v is equal to x v g so this implies that x is equal to v divided by vg v is equal to 0 for 0.2 no need to find because h is equal to hg no need to find x because at saturated vapor line x is equal to 1 so from saturated steam table saturated steam table h is equal to hg is equal to 2795 at pressure is equal to 17 bar h is equal to hg is equal to 2795 kilojoule per kg but mass is known to us so total in total enthalpy is equal to mass multiplied by specific enthalpy which is equal to 0 0.257 kilogram multiply by 2795 kilojoule per kg kg will be cancelled with kg and multiply these two values so the final answer will be 718.3 kilojoule and this is the final result and for more videos please like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you